wants to see all my pink bags in my collection? Stay tuned if you're interested. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave today. This video is uh, a video I haven't done in two years. So I have added more pink bags. So I figure why not jump on the bandwagon and show all my pink bags. <laughs> I did leave out my SLG Nolita 19s. I am not adding them in here because they're not, they're like mini bags. <laughs> so we're just doing all of my pink bags in my collection because it was 2022 when I did this last. And stay tuned for the story at the end about me and pink. <laughs> You'll want to stick around. So let's just get started. And I have no particular order here. They're just all in front of me. Okay, we're just going to start over here with a Dooney. And this came from a lady that gave us all these charms on Galentine's last, or this year. <laughs> I just keep it on this. This is the Florentine Fuchsia Colored Allison Crossbody Bag. And it is some beautiful, smooth Florentine leather. Very nice Florentine leather. It's comfortable. It's pretty thin. It, it's right up against your body. I need to pull it out, but as you all know, I have so many bags and I track them to see how long or if I've even worn them. So some of them have to go, but this one I can't let go because, well, it's fuchsia pink, so I am keeping it. And again, it's the Allison crossbody. Sticking with Dooney, this is called the flap crossbody and they have a smaller size of this but this is the bigger size and comes with this really nice hang tag right here if i can get it in so that's kind of unique and then it's a crossbody strap and then here you open it like this and i believe this is the color blush but there's the inside, a quick little look for you. It has a middle zip compartment. So this one is also my Dooney and Burke flap crossbody. Next is my newer bag, my American Leather Knockout Pink Woven Mercer Hobo, I believe is the name. <laughs> and uh, I wore this just the other day and I had a black shirt on and I got color transfer on the back and I'm going to put it up here so you can see. I mostly got it off. You see where those indentions are? Like there's a little bit showing but I just used uh, my Apple brand products of I cleaned it and conditioned that spot for the most part. It, the color on the back is gone. I might go through, go one more time because of this spot. Didn't quite come out, but a little dye came off, which is okay, but I just don't want to ruin my, my new bag. So anyway, this is my next one. Next is, of course, my pink lemonade city tote that I just carried not too long ago. And uh, yeah, it has the signature C's in the pink. This, this is a great tote. They have so many patterns and colors that I have come out with on these city totes. But you know me and I only have two totes and this is one of them. So city tote coach. Next up is my Fuchi, <laughs> AKA not real, authentic, not authentic Soho Disco and it's kind of a blush color. I can't remember. I think I got it from either AliExpress or DHgate. I don't really shop on those anymore. <laughs> but one of those I bought this for cheap. So yeah, it's pink and I won't go into it. And 
I'm not even sure this is real leather, but I do enjoy carrying it. This next one is one of <laughs> you guys' favorite bags, and this is one of mine this year. I've carried it a lot of times. Um, this is the, I think, 2005-ish era Soho bag, and it has the double pockets, and it's a pretty magenta color with silver hardware. Yes, it's definitely the vibes and the trends of this year and I am all for it too. So it's a gorgeous bag. This is my latest <laughs> and when I filmed I'm like wait is this a unicorn bag or like a limited color you know? <laughs> so I don't know that much about Portland Leather Goods other than I know they have almost perfect bags I thought that unicorn colors came in mystery boxes. So I'm not sure this is a unicorn color, but it's called Margot. <laughs> and they had it this summer and I added my unicorn because it's a it's my unicorn color, like says said. <laughs> says what? If you're not subscribed to her, go to her channel. I'll link her down below. But anyway, this is the mini crossbody tote from Portland Leather Goods and I don't know if it's a unicorn bag, but for me, it is. Next up is my Coach Cassie, which I haven't worn in a while. I wore the heck out of Coach Cassie's, and I honestly haven't been grabbing them, and I need to. So, this is in the color Aurora Pink. The dark gunmetal hardware. I've had no issues with chipping on my hardware. Just checking it out. <laughs> and yeah, this is the full size Coach Cassie. It's still beautiful. I love the leather that they used on this Cassie. It is just so soft. So, yep, full size Aurora pink color Coach Cassie. This next bag is a Timu bag. And everybody was buying like rhinestone studded bags or you know the little sparkly bags and I wanted my own <laughs> and I've only carried it one time it was cheap it you know has the knot on the side zippered you know I don't I don't know I don't know if I want to keep this or not but Maybe eventually I'll wear it again because it is beautiful. I love the little sequin sparkle or rhinestones on it. So, yep, my Timu bag. And this is my Lululemon two quart belt bag. I believe that's what it's called. <laughs> it has the double zippers, back zipper pocket. The two liter is probably my favorite size. It basically fits everything for the day that I need in this size. But I also like the one liter as well, but probably two liter. If you're looking to add a little more stuff to it, then I would suggest the two liter. And the color is wild berry, I believe. <laughs> and has all of this strap. I believe that even the straps are longer for the two liter size. So if you're a little bustier, which I'm not anymore. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, I'm probably gonna have to adjust this tighter. So anyway, that's my Lululemon. And the final two are my Longchamp small Le Pliage. And this one's the Club Tote in antique pink everybody on youtube was buying this bag because it was like 78 dollars i want to say and it's a very cool shade of pink and antique pink goes perfect for what i would call this and has the navy button and the navy horse uh here is the back of the bag and then this one is a baby pink color in the green line. If you're looking for this size of Le Pliage Longchamps, if you're wanting a thicker material, I would go with the club tote and I would not necessarily pick the green line because this nylon is 
flimsier. I'm sure, I mean, it's more eco-friendly, right? I think that's what the green line is all about. But to me, I would rather have the regular one. Just, I don't like how this, if you put a charm on it, it just puddles down. So I have it stuffed and it's very wrinkly, as you can see, <laughs> compared to my other Le Pliage. So those are my last two pink bags. So that's all my pink bag collection. So now on to this anticipated story about when I grew up in the 80s. <laughs> so I'll just put that there. And um, the beginning of my pink love-hate relationship. When I was a kid, I loved pink. <laughs> and my parents knew it. So I had dark pink carpet. I had pink curtains. I had the clear phone. I'll pop pictures up as I'm talking. And it had all the, the neon colors. You could see the inside of the phone. I had the giant clock watch that everybody loved and had. It was in a darker pink. And it was on my wall. And my younger elementary years, I had a Holly Hobby canopy bed. And of course, a lot of pink was on it as well. So as I got older, I didn't want to have anything to do with pink. I was over it <laughs> because everything seemed to be pink that I owned. <laughs> so I was like, no more. Until I was probably 25, 25-ish, I started getting a little bit into pink again, but really like, hardly at all <laughs> and in my 30s hardcore into pink pretty much and then now I love pink as you can tell again so yeah I haven't always it hasn't always been my favorite color <laughs> because I think I had way too much of it as a little kid and I got burnt out but I think I have a good selection of pink bags. Tell me what you think down below and which of my pink bags is your favorite out of the choices. And I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm and more people to find my channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. I have a lot of new viewers and that watch me but have not subscribed. It is free. You just hit that button down below and uh, you can watch my videos. <laughs> so anyway, I won't harbor on that subject, but thank you again for all my new subscribers and my original subscribers. You know who you are and I appreciate all your support and watching. And one more thing, this is my Doberman mom <laughs> shirt. I have a blue Doberman named Nova and I've had this for years and she is such a great dog. So I had to get the shirt and not surprising it's pink. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for sticking around and I will talk to you all on the next video. Bye.